bounty hunter? Sheriff Bartlett. I got your telegram. Mighty grateful to you. <laughs> I may have some work for you. Stop by my office later. <laughs> Well, here's Brimstone. Yeah, it's been a while. It's just as tiny and whole dunk as I remember it to be. You're literally restricted to this one little block. You can talk to people. Hello, sir. Say, you're new in town, ain't you, stranger? You ought to have a look around and see the sights while you's here. Several stores. Um, clothing store. General store. And a bank. There's nothing to do there yet. Uh, there's also a saloon. All these stores, uh, they mostly carry unlockable items. Things that you buy to get new characters and... Uh, Journal pages. <clears throat> uh, like I was saying before, I'm going to show you all the things that you should be buying uh, for your first playthrough. It should be weapons and health upgrades. Because there's definitely, Howdy, Mister. You um, look like a man who can appreciate a good shooting arm. Definitely not enough money for you to have everything. So first thing you want to buy. Is the repeater rifle. This is the very, very good standard rifle that we're going to want to have early on. If you want, you can upgrade the six shooter, that's not a big deal. Um, that's all we're going to buy for now. But yeah, if you try to buy any of the unlockable things in your first playthrough, you probably won't be able to afford all the health upgrades, so it's best to go through again and do all that if you want those things. And that's basically, uh, there is kind of like a new game plus in this game where you play through again on hard difficulty and you have all your weapons that you've unlocked. If you're as good a bounty hunter as O'Grady says you are, you could help me with a couple of real outlaws wreaking havoc in my territory. It'd be worth a pretty penny to you. You might want to start with Pig Josh. He's one crazy outlaw and circus freak. Just be careful. He's got a hankering for dynamite. Oh, you might want to keep your eyes out for some English fella. He don't know what a motley crew he keeping company with. So, right here I'm going to say don't buy the dynamite. You want to save our money and there's going to be chances to pick up free dynamite in the future. Also, I wouldn't repair anything. Just switch to your repeater rifle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I seem to have found myself in a most unfortunate situation. If you would be kind enough to help me. You ain't my problem. Indeed, sir. However, you might feel differently once you look behind you. We'll go ahead and release him right away and I'll help you out in the fight in the beginning. Unless you want to keep all the action to yourself for now. That one midget clown was stuck there for a second.
I really love the uh, the whole circus aspect of a lot of these villains. <laughs> it really brings uh, color to an otherwise gray I'm guessing there's more game. where they came from. That contraption should make short work of them. I'll cover you. Alright. So don't use the Gatling gun. That's a trap. Getting on that just makes you stationary target. These guys are going to come up on your sides and shoot you or you can't even shoot back. Besides, you want to save the ammo from that for something later. A good way to kind of treat this game when you're fighting with uh, all these little midget clowns is you want to... Ow! Or dwarf clowns, whatever pisses you off the least because I don't really care. Um, killing them really helps you get Deadeye. So, you can go after those guys when your Deadeye bar is down. And then use your Deadeye bar on the big guys. What is that one doing? I guess he's kind of dead now, so... He just tried to punch me. What? Punch me in the dick? So the trick to pick Josh is that you need to God damn you so He comes up to you so fast. Oh my god. So this is why This is why you have to fight him in a cheap way, because he's just so insane. The explosives and their slash damage. <clears throat> so you're gonna wanna get up here. You're gonna do this stupid shit. You can shoot him like this, but uh, honestly it's kind of a... It's gonna take a long time. Kind of a waste. Kind of didn't work exactly right. So you're gonna want to be on here while he's out there walking. Shoot him, get him good, try to get him as many times as you can while he's stunned. You really damage him. <clears throat> you're gonna come over here and do this stupid shit. I've been able to replicate this uh, like at least more than a few times, so I know that this, his AI will behave like this every single time. So, <clears throat> while he's doing this, when like up over, he's gonna run out again. Fuck. Gotta be really careful about the jump. It's so, so hard. Okay, so the second time you do this, it's gonna run up there where Jack Swift is. And he's gonna be kind of like locked in this cycle where he's gonna run around just like that. And you can get down and move over here and he's not gonna chase you.
This is why we saved Nyamo on the Gatling gun. I think again, trying to hit him in the face will do more damage, but it's kind of it's kind of really hard to. He's just such a fat piece of shit. You're gonna like hit him in the shoulders, basically. And he's moving the entire time. So you're gonna pour ammunition into him. And it's probably not gonna be enough. This is the other reason why uh, Big Josh is just such an insane boss fight, and why you have to really fight him um, in this kind of a way. Because otherwise, you're just uh, running around the map, I guess, trying to get him to wander around. Because it was like a whole mechanic of like. You run far enough away from him, and he'll start wandering around, and you can shoot him, and then he'll be, he'll get really damaged. You know, that whole thing that I did first. But, uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get that to work right. And he's so fast, so fucking scary. He'll run up on you and just explode, and he only needs to hit you like twice like that. So, yeah. As you would guess, now we are forced to sit here and dump rounds into him. I actually don't want to damage my repeater too much, so I'm going to waste all the ammo that he is in the revolver first. Big Josh, come on. Come back. If you haven't noticed, this is also a nice way to uh, get some money in the Because I think if you do it the way that they technically want you to do it, you know, where you stun him, hurting him so much with each shot that you're technically wasting a bunch of shots. Each one costs him two dollars. Thank you, sir. Your help has been immensely appreciated. If I can be of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call upon me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. I 
you little shits, get away from me. Oh yeah! I forget, that's how uh, Jax Deadeye works. It's totally different. It's all automatic with him. Ugh. Keep accidentally getting those health health jugs. Should be like just leaving them out. Ow! Get off of me! Oh shit, skills. Got an arsonist here. This guy is spooky. will keep you busy. God, these guys are right now. It's like twisted metal. Hey, how, he healed himself. That's cheating. God, I love how I can just do that over and over again. Guy's a turd. Keeps healing himself. It's not fair. Run dry. Okay, Swift. I've had enough of you now. Yeah, I've had enough of you. You're getting old. Oh man. 
wasted that one. Gotcha. So I'm still shooting at him. Oh my god. That was incredible. You saved my life. All in a day's work. I only wish it were more financially gratifying. Well, shoot, mister. If getting yourself a little money's all you're worried about, then I know where someone with your talent could pick up $5,000 in gold without even trying. Pray do tell, young lady, and I would be forever in your debt. There's a sharpshooter competition in Brimstone. Winner takes all. Shouldn't be a problem for such a fine marksman like yourself. Well, madam. Professor Perry. Oh, sometimes I do need to get excellent on this. Jeez. Breach loader. Well, I think that'll be a good place to stop this. Thank you all for watching. Hey, if you like what you're seeing here, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do everything to help get my channel to grow. And, uh, hey, I'll see you next week. Peace.